Oh my gosh, yes, gorgeous out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna sit outside. Smart. Most of my meetings this week have had like one person outdoors. <laughs> like somebody must be enjoying the weather. I'll, I'll take it for the team, guys. <laughs> Are we ready? Almost. Right. Almost. Almost right now. Any Bruce? Yeah, is Bruce joining us today? No. Bruce just called. Bruce just called and he can't make it today. Okay. Oh, bummer. No, thank you very much, AJ. Do you want to call the meeting to order, Kelly? Or I can call to order at 433. How do I do that? What do I say? This meeting is called to order. At 433, yeah. <laughs> 4 30, I need a gavel. gavel. <laughs> 433. You could just use like a hammer from the house. How's everyone doing? Nice to see everybody. All right, let's go for it. We have lots to talk about. So let's try and make it quick so you guys can go enjoy the weather or whatnot. Um, so last meeting was great. I filled Bernie in because she wasn't able to be there. We kind of let her know what was going on with the bulldog bags and attending different commission meetings and um, that we were going to reach out to Linda and just kind of everything we went over last meeting. So I'm just going to dive right in. Let me pull up your... Teresa, thank you for making the Zoom and the um, agenda. I appreciate it. Sure. Can I start for one thing? Go for it. Dawn is not able to make it. Um, she's not well. I know a couple of you have never met her. Um, she's been a pretty big icon in the community. She was on the Stowe. She was on the Board of Education um, for a long time. Um, but she's not well. So I just... If you want to, that's fine, but no pressure. I don't know if you guys got my email. I sent flowers um, with the commission on inclusion and the mayor wanted in on it. And mayor and I are gonna go tomorrow because a friend of hers said I should go sooner than later. So we're gonna take, go over tomorrow to visit her. So if you, wanted to, if you wanna help with the flowers, that's fine. If you don't, I totally get it. No I'm pressure. really thoughtful of you, Teresa. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I felt I needed to do something. They were also doing that thing with um, meals. Um, they were asking for meals to come in because the kids are taking turns and the hospice nurse, oh, I wasn't supposed to say that, the nurse is there and stuff like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to say and what I'm not supposed okay. to say. That's why I, I think when you said that your friend said to maybe get over there quicker, that, that was probably yeah. the all kind Yeah, of I did mean, I slipped in there. Okay. So okay. anyway, that's that's what's going on there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, thank you so much for organizing that. Um, Teresa did share with me her Venmo information, so I can forward that email if anyone wants to pitch in. Um, yeah, so I'll forward, Teresa, is that okay? I'll forward you, everyone. Sure, but I don't want to pressure people because I didn't ask ahead of time. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not, I don't, Some of you don't know her, so I don't right. whatever you guys want to do. Because we discussed this last meeting that we were all interested, so no. And if people feel okay. pressured, they have to pitch in. Um, I think everyone okay. wants to, though, so. I think we're good. If Teresa, if we don't use Venmo, is the hall is the city hall still closed? Where could I come up and run you up some money? Sure, I'm always here except from twelve to one, and I'm off this okay. Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or Can't if anybody wait. wants, if anyone wants to help in a different way, I signed up to bring a meal over next Tuesday because I'm on spring break. So if anybody wants to split the meal with me. Um, I'm fine doing it myself, but if anybody wants to participate in that, let me know if someone wants to take dessert or I, I wanted to do it up big, bring something really nice um, for their family because I can relate to what they're going she through. Likes, I found out she likes good milk chocolate. So I went over on lunch today and got Mally's for, for the mayor and I Ooh, to take good idea. It's like her friend said she only likes good, good <laughs> milk chocolate. I said, okay. Got to have the best. Yeah. Um, do you mind letting us, do you mind letting us know about how much you spent? So we don't like over donate, like how? Well, I spent a oh. lot, but a lot of it's for me. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, 10 bucks would be more awesome. perfect, but I perfect. don't want, okay. but I, I, but if you want to spend, give me five, that's fine too. If you don't, mm -hmm. you know, I just feel funny about this, but go ahead. No, don't feel funny about it. I, I, want okay. to I think it's important. I think anyone else would want the same for their family. And you know. mm -hmm. 
All right, thank you for the update. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. Go ahead. No, no, no. That was actually on my list to check in and see how okay. she was doing. So no, you're good. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's go. Um, so I'm going on the agenda here, update on the city email. So um, by city email, does that mean for our commission, like if we have our own personal email? Okay, so I'll just go start with that. So I had a uh, Zoom conference with Linda, the director of Parks and Rec, Chris uh, Sheridan, she's the director of the events, and then Kristen Spicer, I think I said their names correctly, and she's the director of marketing. So the three of us, them and myself had a um, nice conversation and I kind of just want to briefly tell you everything that we discussed. Here it is. Um, I said, do they have a list of, um, uh, a list with emails or names of the other commissions and they didn't have access to that, but I did get it from Deb. So I do have that from Deb, um, Becky, Berkey, sorry, Berkey. Um, marketing, we are allowed to have our own email. They are looking into that. So um, I'm gonna touch base and send them um, a, just a reminder just to see where we're at with that. But we are going to get our own email and we can all have access to it, which will be really great. Um, and maybe that's something if we want to put on the business cards, I was kind of thinking. Um, we cannot have like our own, I just wanted to ask our own Facebook page. It all has to go through the city of Stowe, um, which is fine. And then they also can put that on the main website for city of Stowe as well. So if we have a newsletter, they can put it on there. Um, if we do the spotlight, um, they could do that as well. So it all just has to be approved for them for everything. Um, and I did send over the um, logo that was made because that has to be approved as well. Um, oops, we already just went ahead and used it, but I don't think it's a problem. I didn't hear back yet, but I did just go, Oh, here, this is what we used. That all, everything has to get approved for them. Um, there is, I didn't know this, but just so everybody knows, on the um, City of Stowe page, there is a commission on inclusion spot and there are documents and such in there. I think maybe you did tell me this last week, um, but they would put that information there, anything else that we had. Right, I post that after things are approved. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Um, I asked them if we can create an event with them through Parks and Rec and kind of collaborate with them. And they said, absolutely, whatever we'd like to do, if we want to brainstorm with them and come up with an event with them. Um, I did tell them to let us know when they have events coming up that they maybe would like us to come and volunteer or try and um, come. And they said they'd let us know. So she said, I need to kind of think about that and let you know. I said, absolutely. Um, I asked if they had an email or a database or any, if they ever offered any programs for people with special needs that they got emails, like somewhere that we can kind of just start and they have nothing. They've never provided any, um, I'm just telling you what they told me. They've never provided any programs or any events whatsoever specifically for people with special needs um, for a city of Stowe. So they don't have any of that information. And I said, um, they would love that though. Um, they are open to that. They're open to programming. They would love to be able that she said that she just just apologizes and was real sweet and she says I just I sound very ignorant I just don't know how to do that or what to do and then if you guys want to guide me they would love to create programming um, and activities and events for people with special needs and people of all abilities um, she just said I just don't know how to do that and I said well that's great that's where we can kind of tie in um, and kind of help you with that and they are very open to it so that's great um I invited Linda to come to this meeting and I've invited her to come to any meeting. And she said at this time, um, she's not really interested um, to come to a meeting. She said that if there's something more specific that, you know, okay, we want to do this or this, then she'll come. Um, and I said, that's fine. So if, you know, something comes up that we want to do, we can then um, collaborate with her. Uh, she said, they're just very busy. Okay. Uh, she said the main thing, I just asked her, I said, hey, we're going to be putting out a survey and we're working on it. Um, what is something from your point of view and your perspective, um, what would you like to see the city doing or how can we provide more inclusivity for all, you know, just from where you're coming from and what you see? And I said, you know, you've been doing Parks and Rec for a long time and you're doing marketing for Stowe and maybe you see things that we don't. And she says that she really wants to start offering programming, which I think is really cool to hear. Um, and she said also they just got they were starting to do a grant for wheelchair tennis 
And then I think with COVID, everything kind of just, it didn't work out and they weren't sure how to write the grant. And she said, they just didn't know what words to use. They didn't know what verbiage they did. And I said, oh my gosh, I've written so many grants and I know a lot of you have written grants. I was like, let us help with that. So I'll touch base with that too, but that might be a cool project. They really want to bring wheelchair tennis to Stowe, um, which would be really cool. And there is a grant available. So um, I am going to email her when I touch base about the um, email. Also ask her, um, when is the grant due? Maybe we can collab and work together and get that going. So that, I was like, wow, how cool wheelchair tennis. I didn't even like, that's awesome. Um, as she said that another thing she would really like to know is statistics and information specific to um, people that have special needs and stuff. She says she has no access any of that and maybe that's something we can touch base with with summit dd um with more specific statistics so it can kind of drive the programming i said absolutely you know i think we have a great team to kind of collaborate with that of course the trash guy's coming right now can you hear me okay of course I, it's been out there all day um they are having a um kelly real quick i just want to say that um you know, when we do our trainings and stuff and we talk about that it's one in four people has a disability, whether it's visible or not. So when you talk about, you know, how many people in Stowe have special needs, it's more, you know, sometimes those disabilities are, are not visible. So it's one in four people. One in four. I mean, that's a lot. So that's, yeah. And that, you know, we can look at, um, that's great to know. All right. Can I make a comment too, Kelly, real quick? Um, I, I think, it, I think sometimes there's a misconception that when you want to be inclusive, you're making like separate events for people with disabilities, when in fact, the events that already exist should just be more inclusive. Um, so Thank it, it you. sounded to me like Linda was almost thinking more that way, whereas that's not inclusive to me. Um, being inclusive is opening up current events or creating new events that include people who are disabled and non-disabled. Um, so just wanted to throw that thought process out there. And I agree with that. I was thinking that when you were saying that as well, and just the thought that you, um, if you're going to label it something, it's, um, all inclusive <laughs> or, you know, let people know if you need special accommodations, you know, or a different comfort com accommodations, you know, that can be arranged or, um, you know, if you already have those accommodations set up for, you know, like maybe people with autism or, you know, they need more visual cues, things like that. You already have that set up before you do. Like, well, they would just do the same activities they're doing. We could just um, assist with those kind of supports. Awesome. That sounds great. Kind so of jumping on, on that too. I, you know, I, I, I've done some of the Parks and Rec events where you have to register. And maybe that's something we could do really quickly that they could add some of those fields to that field, you know, when you register online. So then we kind of get a base of who, who needs to be included in these events. You know, I, you know, it's not, so that's something. Have to write it down. Right, Jason, it's just really getting an idea what kind of supports we need at that particular event or they need, you know, if, you know, we're just suggesting it or whatever um, that they can supply for that so like the drive-through ones are great if somebody is has mobility issues that's that's a win but you know that's what we need or if we are doing a you know a, we talked about the easter easter hunt last time that there maybe is some places where it's a little quieter or a little quiet a, a quiet place so if somebody has some sensory you know stuff mm -hmm. that we could deal with that and kind of just click into that and kind of know that but that maybe is in the reg the, that reg the registering of the events that's a great idea, Jason. Like, yeah, if they have, you know, just a place to put any kinds of special accommodations that you or your family member, whoever is registering might need, and then we can be the resource then. You know, if, if something comes through that Parks and Rec isn't quite sure how to handle, you know, I'm, I'm sure that there's probably someone here who could help navigate that, help Parks and Rec navigate making that accessible. And that's where we would partner up with those different events 
uh, whoever's putting that on. Right. So we would show up and, you know, this is an all inclusive event somewhere along the lines of what Jason's saying, like maybe you, you know, be able to put some kind of notification that maybe not every event's inclusive, but this one is, and you can come to it. And we would have to know way ahead of time, like a list of events that we could plan accordingly for, uh, you know, people on the spectrum or whatever type of uh, area or situation that we would need to set up at, at an a outdoor live event that, we could be all hands on deck. So when people show up or register for that event, when they come, it's very, you know, we're there prepared, ready to go. So, And that it's offered for everybody so that it's, you know, not pointing out this person needs these supports, but Hey, here's some supports. If you want to kind of like when they have like the noise canceling headphones and things mm-hmm. and schools, they supply them for, you know, anybody who wants to use them. And if they don't need them, most of the kids won't use them because they get irritated with them. But if they need them, they will use them. So absolutely. So I guess it's a great conversation. (laughs) No, it's great. No, no, no. Um, So I guess it's more working with them to kind of educate and kind of work on that. And how can we make each event more inclusive? And then even maybe offering a more variety of programs that kind of encourages, um, like I would love there to be like, basketball game or something eventually and then it's all inclusive or you know things like that just to kind of get more people in the community of all abilities you know what I'm saying it just it would be nice to have more inclusivity I think it would be nice for the people in the community to know how to um, provide those supports for people Right. So like I said, I think I had said when we talked about it before, when I, where I work, um, our job is to work ourselves out of a job. We want inclusion to be so prevalent that they don't need us to support them anymore, that they can support themselves. And we have a couple child care centers right now that are doing well with that. So, you know, it's like, you know, other things in the community we're reaching out to, too. So that's why I wanted to join the commission so I can start and stow. <laughs> I, I love that. And it's a great community to start because I think people are very open-minded and progressive. And I, I think, you know, that's the direction it should be going. So that's awesome. Um, okay. So there is one more thing that we talked about. Um, <clears throat> thank you for your input on that. <clears throat> there is going to be, I can't remember what she called it, but June 26th, there's going to be like a celebrate stow day or like, uh, Teresa, do you know the name of this event coming up? I can't remember what they called it. It's like a... Is it Pride and Stowe? Pride and Stowe. I think that's it. So it's June 26th. Um, she, I asked her if we could have a booth there and she said, if we can provide some type of activity, this might be something great, um, that we can make it all inclusive. Then she said, absolutely. So I thought that would be a really neat way for us to, you know, be there and maybe do, I don't know, like bird feeders or I don't know, make it like a craft or an activity or something that is all inclusive and anyone can do it. Um, I think that would be kind of a neat way to get our name out into the community. So I asked her if that's something we could do. And she said, yes. So it is June 26th and we will have our own table. And um, she says, as long as it's like an interactive, so maybe we can brainstorm what we want that to be, maybe make a musical instrument or, or anything. I mean, we could do whatever we want. Maybe we set up a little putt putt golf or I don't know, something we can put up, come up with some ideas, but um, I think that would just be a great way. So we have adopt the pot and then um, we'll kind of infuse ourselves into this pride of stove. Is that okay with you guys? I think that's great. And I think, you know, involving, like you said, a musical instrument, anything sensory. Anything, right. right. Yeah. That way, like anyone could do it. Anyone, you know, anyone that comes up to the table, anyone that wants to make one can make one. And then if they need us to adapt it, then we can adapt it. Like I can bring um, adaptable scissors. I mean, we could bring whatever we need and make it for everybody. So um, I think that would be a great way to, we can wear our shirts and our little name tags and we can pass out our business cards. Um, Cause it is for all of Stowe. I guess it's going to be like the big event instead of like a sunset blast. If they do a sunset blast. Um, she said also at sunset blast, we are, um, welcome to be there again. It would have to be another interactive booth. So as long as it was, we were providing something for the community and something 
like an activity. Um, that was something uh, she said we could do as well. Teresa, do we have access to um, some marketing dollars to help support maybe a banner now that we are uh, established a logo? Um, I'm sure to get sure a table skirt, right? So mm -hmm. if we have a six foot or eight foot table, they have adjustable uh, tablecloths with our logo on it that we could. I will double check. I'm confident that we can, the city will help with that. Okay. Um, and Parks and Rec were also great of when we figure out what we want to do, they have lots of resources of materials and they'll be able to help pull. And I was like, well, I think everyone kind of would be able to kind of pull together what we need. So she just had to let her know and they'll pull some materials if they have it. So maybe we can just figure out what we want to do for that event and then Sunset Blast. Cool. All right. That was that meeting. When is Sunset Blast? When is that one? Just the last holiday, the last. It's three Labor Day weekend. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what the date is this year, but that's always Labor Day weekend. Okay. Yeah, she said they might be shortening it. They might be doing something different. Um, so we'll just kind of touch base, but for sure, the twenty sixth. And maybe we can just do if it's an all day thing, just do sign ups, and we each take like hour shifts or whatever, we can figure it out. Um, okay, so I wanted to check in, how are we with adopt a spot? Have we heard anything? Nope. Nope, okay. That's not the answer you wanted to hear, it is, but um, okay. we no, talk. we're, again, we're signed up. Um, it is May 22nd. Um, the, that's the planting day, May 22nd. Um, Plants are avail available for pickup anywhere on that day from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, volunteers are responsible for planting, weeding, removing, you know, old dead flowers, um, you know, uh, deadheading the annuals and things like that, keeping the soil on a weekly basis or as needed. Um, obviously, we get a sign out there as part of our reward of volunteering. So basically probably a sign up sheet for May 22nd. I believe that is a Saturday. It is, yeah. it's a Saturday. Saturday. Um, there's a lot of recreation going on. I know there's, I coach soccer, so I'm, I might not be able to make it that day, but um, get a sign up sheet I think is appropriate, you know, and dust off your shovels and your gardening equipment. I'm looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you for that update. Sounds good. And then um, I am going to email all the other commissions to see if they have events that we can kind of tag in and provide inclusivity that we talked about or um, just kind of see what they're all up to. So I haven't sent that yet. So I need to do that. Um, I, I did get all of the emails. Um, some of the groups, it doesn't say who the head is. So I might just end up emailing a bunch of people, but that's okay. We'll just see what happens. <laughs> um, how are we, uh, with business cards, shirts, and name tags? Do you need anything from us, Teresa? Well, we need the email for the business cards. Okay. You guys need to, as soon as you, you get that logo or whatever approved or what, what type of t-shirts you want, you need to let me know. We can get them ordered or you want how you want what you want the t-shirt to look like. We got probably decide, we got probably decide on a color. Um, yeah, it, I don't know if we want to put that on the back, you know, the logo and then put city of Stowe on the front. I mean, I don't know what you guys want. So I can you let me know what you want on that and then we'll do the cards. But if we're going to do this thing, June 26, we should like have like, a draft of things by the next meeting, April 27th. Okay. So I can get things ordered. Or we can do it via email, I mean, via, you know, uh, email. How about, would you guys be okay with James maybe designing like four and then we vote? Because that's usually easier yeah. to do it. And then what about um, keeping it stow colors? That's what I was thinking, maroon and gold. Maroon and gold. That's what I was thinking. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we could do like the neon orange. That would be fun, but yeah. probably the marine and gold. 
The Summit DD Orange, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, I told you Summit DD came up with that color. So. <laughs> um, okay, that's that. Um, Pam and Jennifer, do you have any updates on the mental health meeting? No, I emailed Pam. Um, I just emailed you today, Pam, but I sat in the meeting and unfortunately I had to take a phone call. So I think I was in uh, maybe about half the meeting, but then I had to exit and with zoom, I can't figure out on my phone how to message. So I did email right after I had to jump off. Um, what is her name? Deb and let yeah, her know. Organized it, yeah. 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 I let her know that I had to jump off, but that I was really, I, I enjoyed it and I was really interested in, you know, being invited back. I haven't heard back from her, but so I got to her, um, hear the judge speak. And then I think the second speaker, um, I forget where she was from, but anyway, I really, I really liked it and enjoyed it. So. Yeah, I'm glad like that was a little bit of a different meeting. Um, we had speakers, uh, so there wasn't anything like being actively planned at that meeting. Um, so it's actually fine that you had to hop off. Um, uh, yeah. So we had, a, we had judge Coates talking about her, um, you know, her program. Is it stride? Man, I can't believe I already forgot. I'm, I'm, oh, anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. That um, sounds really familiar. She, she was talking about her program, which involves um, some diversion for folks with mental health needs and also some like addiction needs in there as well um, and providing the support to people. Um, so that was, it was really nice and informational for us all to hear. And then a speaker from um, Stewart's Grief Care Place talked a little bit about their programming. Um, so it was more informational for the committee members. Um, the, the Kindness and Connection campaign is continuing right now, um, but we're not like planning yet kind of what, the, what that next thing is. Um, so that's where that's at. I'm, I'm really glad you were able to join us, Jennifer, and hopefully, you know, we can continue as like the next thing gets planned, having that, that voice and that input to make sure that whatever it is, is inclusive. Yeah, I put that in my email that I really enjoyed being there and to reach out to me whenever if she wanted to invite me for the following ones. Then um, I don't know if we want to reach out to that committee as well and invite them to help at our booth at the um, Pride and Stowe if they want to help, um, just connecting with the community. And so if they'd like to come volunteer with us or put a booth right next to us and maybe we can collaborate and they do something neat too, um, that might be a neat way to kind of collab and fuse uh, you know, inclusivity with mental health. Yeah, so right, and I feel like there's a lot of overlap there. Right. For sure. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to bring that up, let us know. Maybe we can do something together. We can make tambourines and they can make maracas. All right. So that's that. Um, I will want to touch base with Bruce how that parks meeting, commission meeting went, if he was able to go and how it went, but we'll ask him next time. Um, I saw the work that you guys did in the Google Doc for um, the uh, for the survey. So that looked really good. That's a really good start of where we're at. Um, I know Linda said that they'd be interested in filling that out too. So even getting that to different um, departments. Um, anyone have anything they want to say about that? How did the recent, thank you for doing all that research and I've been doing research and it's there there's a lot there's a lot to doing a survey like like just the questions and to make sure everything is inclusive but the biggest thing I kind of took away from and I know we've touched on this already in this meeting but to make the survey inclusive that if we just put it on social media if we just put it online that's not being inclusive to everybody in the city so I think maybe as a group we could come up with some other ways that maybe could be at city hall or we could you know have it at other places to make it inclusive for other people to take so that was my biggest takeaway from researching but the questions, I mean, you could have a thousand of them. It's just so, you know, I feel like I can't sit in a room and, and figure that I need everybody's experience and help with some okay. of these questions. Or there's, there's uh, what I found, there's a lot of companies that do it and maybe the city in, could kind of guide us through how to, you know, obviously you don't want a, a hundred page survey. So there's some right. really big questions mm -hmm. that, you know, I think could be a, 
a side meeting or some other conversations. Because I think that's a good up. point though, because if it's too in depth and too long, people aren't going to take the time to fill it out. Correct. I think if we can keep so, it simple, um, in filling it out and easy to turn in or easy to pick up either, you know, I can go out and deliver and then pick it back up. I mean, like you said, making it inclusive. I think that's important. So um, I, I had a question regarding the survey because I missed the last meeting. Oh, sorry. Um, and also I added in in red and that wasn't meant to be like teacher red correcting things. It was meant to be I just put it in another color because I thought it's easier to all use another color and know. Right. No, that made right. sense. Um, so feel free to, um, change that if it's not appropriate. My question was, so what, uh, what's the goal of the survey? Is it to find out how the community is feeling about how we are doing with inclusion, or is it to look for needs that aren't being addressed or needs that are being addressed? What, what's the actual, what, what are we hoping to find out? I think as a committee, we were just discussing where are the gaps? Where are the gaps in the community that we can help? What are there projects out there? Are there things that we can do? Are there ways that we can provide um, resources or services? Or um, how can we help bridge the gap of what they're seeing of not being inclusive in Stowe? You know, I think that's more what we were going for. Um, I, I think we discussed at the last meeting too, um, when I did bulldog bags, there was like the Kiwanis club and the lions club and, mm -hmm. and nobody knew that there was a commission on inclusion. You know, people uh, were saying, this is so great. You started. I was like, Oh no, it's been around forever, you know? And so I think it's not really saying how well we're doing. I think it's more, what can we do to provide? <laughs> and then Got I, it. From what you're saying in this meeting, I've just had a thought too, is that maybe this is the way for us to get some information and data on the city. So if we, if this, if we put some contact information, in mm -hmm. there so we have now you know that we could get some data off of it of, right of, would you of, like to be like included it. in these events would you like to right no oh, that's great bernie does that make sense uh yeah totally yeah. does and that helps um going back to that data piece too like you can often and linda may not know this you can extrapolate data out just from the statistics so like one one in 54 people has autism right now um so you can take the population of stowe and figure out an estimate of how many people in Stowe have autism. I don't know if there's, I'm assuming there's statistics like that out there for all disabilities, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know that that's true. Mm -hmm. um, so you can, you can assume there's a bunch of, <laughs> that in, the, in, this, in a city the size of Stowe, there's many people with autism who wanna be included in events who probably aren't being included in events. Yep. Um, just to throw that out there. And, and not all people wanna identify on some kind of document Mm -hmm. um, and that's fine, but maybe um, we can make the survey accessible and comfortable for people to at least anonymously say or put out there, hey, this is what you can do, or this is how, I mean, I, that's kind of my hope of it. Right. Or our hope I think we're it. just looking for what the biggest need is, like what's that the community um, sees, the biggest need, um, the biggest barriers, and how we can address those first, like you know, where do we start? What, right. what do we do, you know, with that? Right. Um, but I do have a question though. Was this Google Doc, um, the, was it sent out like the, the link for it? Because I don't I remember think, seeing that. So was it like right after the last meeting? Did you not? I thought I emailed it to you. And maybe you did. And maybe I didn't see it. When I look at my email on my phone, it's like crazy sometimes. Did anyone Everything's like not, blended together. No, I'm glad you told me. Did anyone else not receive it? I got it, but I, I can't get it, into it. Trisha, I found it by just searching Kelly in my That's email. And what I'm going to do. All of yeah. her stuff. Trisha, I can yeah. resend it. I'll resend it. Okay. After this, I'll send it. And so you should just expect to get it like right after. And if you don't, okay. just um, let me know. Let you know. I will. <laughs> I'll let me know. Awesome. Um, and Back real quick, thank you for going to the mental health meeting and collaborating on that. I appreciate it. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, okay, I made a boo-boo. I can't find the original spotlights that you guys send me. Please tell me someone still has them. I thought I, I them them in my Google Doc and I didn't. And I went, oh, 
So I have all the new ones. I have everyone <laughs> the original. I'm so sorry. Can you resend it so I could save it? Yeah, I'll resend them to you. Did not. And that's it. Anyone have anything else? Teresa? Can you approve the minutes from the last meeting? Yes. How do I do that? Just say they're approved? Just say, um, we need a motion to approve. We need a motion to approve in a second. Okay. Um, motion to approve the minutes from last week. Second. Thank you. Approved. Okay. I need a gavel. <laughs> Just and the next hand. meeting will be on April 27th at 4.30. Um, moving forward, if everyone can just please take a peek at that Google Doc. Uh, Trisha, I'll make sure you get it. And if yes, you have any please. other information you would like to put in there for the survey, um, I will send out some designs for a shirt so we can get that Teresa and get that done and going. Um, Teresa, could you please look into um, either the... Um, uh, table skirt or a banner if that's something we right can i'm do. gonna look into that why well, i will i have a meeting well oh the mayor one-on-one -on -one tomorrow so i'm gonna hit him up with <laughs> i hit him up um if everybody could please send to teresa um well i think you actually have all the information you have does everyone okay with their numbers being on the business cards mm -hmm. yeah uh, you have to if if you're not comfortable with that, that's fine. We can just put my number even on if you want to. Well, I we totally could also, we could maybe also do sort of a generic um, commission on inclusion business card that's got the email once we have that um, city right. hall phone number. Exactly. That, I think between you and me, I think that's better. And individual one members could always you know we can always jot down our name or our phone number or whatever on the back side of the card if we have name tags we'll get those we too. can have we can have like our name tag we can have our generic a generic business card and then those could be usable for any of us and if if there's some shifting in um, the commission's makeup for whatever reason um, those generic cards could still apply just a thought. You just want the name and commission on inclusion on the tag? Right. Yeah. And then if we have our commission on inclusion cards with the email, city hall phone number, we can always add our personal number or okay. our personal email if we wanted to, depending on the interaction we're having as we hand out the card, we could always include that. What does everybody think? Second. I like that idea. <laughs> Third. That's good. No, I like that. That's great. That's really. That's I'll get great. those ordered this week somehow. I'll find out where we get them, and I'll get okay. those ordered. And then I'll as soon as I get the information about the email, um, I will let you know. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm assuming it'll be like commission on inclusion at Stowe, um, something like that. That's so what I'm yeah, thinking. Teresa, if you could send us through a proof, that'd be great. You know, um, once you oh, kind of yeah. craft up an example of a business card, they'll send a proof to say, hey, before we print, are you are you cool with it? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. And uh, shoot we'll that through that. to us. We can all just at least take a look and provide some feedback if we feel like something's not quite right or whatever. And I have a question. Be... Since the shirts are going to be maroon and gold, what color? Just like a black and silver on the name tag? Or I'll ask them what's what will stand out the best. Perfect. Is that okay? Yeah, yes. they should have some suggestions. Yeah. I'm open to any. Yeah, and then you we can always run run ideas through the email, you know, when, when you get, and I, if there's like two different styles, we can talk about it via email. Perfect. Kelly, do you want us to brainstorm ideas for activities for the table in June? Yes, like via email? Do we want to do that at the next meeting? Um, how about we just take this month to really, I mean, it's up to you guys, but what if we just take the month to think about it and next meeting, why don't we vote like everyone come with a different idea and then maybe we can vote if that's okay. Um, and come up with one. And if we have two awesome ideas, maybe one for the June and one for mm -hmm. Sunset Blast. And then I have a feeling this is just the beginning. Um, I think this mm -hmm. is gonna be really great and really successful. So maybe we can even do for the, another event too. Right. And I guess with the activities, we should we should keep co the COVID 
activity, you know, obviously there's going to have to be some, some different protocols of a normal. Right. Adapt the adapt. We can, do that. Um, can I ask a group question before we sign off? Um, Cause someone here might be a resource for me. Um, walking down my street two days ago was a lady who I engaged me in a conversation and she clearly needed help. Um, she was a person with a disability who was wandering around the streets of Stowe. And she asked me, what church could she go to to find someone who could help her get her epilepsy medicine? And um, so I, it, was, it was Sunday. No churches were open. It was Sunday late afternoon. I didn't think it, she'd been to two churches already. No one was there. Um, and I don't think a church is who you go to. And anyway, I helped her to get back home. She lives over by um, the Methodist church on Fish Creek and Stowe. But she's been on my mind since I saw her. So in case I see her again, do any of you know, maybe it's you, Pamela, like if you find someone like that who's looking for help, who, who do you turn them to? I mean, we get some of those requests sometimes through NICE. Um, okay, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, like when a phone call comes into Teresa at City Hall, like she'll end up reaching out to SMF NICE. Okay. And a lot of times between all the different people we have on the board with NICE, somebody knows of some resource. Okay, that's good. To, to kind know. of hook people up. Because um, we did do that that resource pamphlet. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we still keep up with some of those. I mean, we haven't formally updated it in a while because COVID. Um, and nobody's printing out pamphlets right now. Um, but... A lot of times NICE, you know, if you reach out to NICE, we'll have some kind of connection. I don't know offhand. Um, and like on a Sunday, it's not like you can call Teresa at City Hall. <laughs> um, but if you message one of us with NICE or message the NICE Facebook page, okay, um, we all right. keep an eye on those messages and bring it to the board and sort of troubleshoot and problem solve. Um, okay. Thank those you. kinds of things. Yeah. Like you can always, anybody can message the nice page, like, okay, I've got this thorny question. I don't know where to, where to guide somebody and we'll brainstorm and at least come up with some initial ideas. Okay. Um, thank you. That helps. Yeah. Um, something, I, I don't know if this is appropriate or not, but um, when I taught in Aurora city schools, I did have some families that didn't have insurance or didn't have access. Um, but we always directed them to access point in Kent. It's a free clinic. Um, okay. And I, I did a lot of research and that's the one we decided on the school psychologist and myself. And um, we had students that would go there in Kent and they, they, I even took one of my students got permission and I took her there to get uh, a well checkup and things that she just hadn't had. And they were phenomenal. They were. Okay. Phenomenal. Thank you. So that, I don't know, it's called access point in Kent. It's a free clinic, but you have to call and make an appointment. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And I would think too, I know Jen is pretty new to Summit DD for her position, but um, I would think that the SSA would know some things for them to do if you knew that if they were involved with Summit DD. So right. it's kind of hard to ask somebody, you know. I know. <laughs> do you right. know anybody at Summit DD? <laughs> but, you know, sometimes, right. you know, if you do, I would think that the SSAs would be able to okay. guide them okay. to some places too. I agree. Or RSS, <laughs> they should. Okay. Yeah. Um, just to throw this out there, uh, end of January. Okay. Um, oh, but oh, just yeah. to throw this out there too, depending on, do you know how old she, like around what age she was? She in her twenties to uh, okay. 30 ish. Okay. I was just saying if it's an older adult, cause I did adult protective services beforehand. You always have, if it's an older adult that you see out, you know, oh. and you have concerns, that they should be able to help, you know, like, or find resources for people right. as well. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you for bringing your attention. One more final thing, just to throw it out there. Um, Raccoon Run, such a huge event in Stowe. Just kind of throwing it out there to see how we get involved or. What date is that? That's another great question. Um, I just soon. It's usually it's coming up soon. 
Yeah, I've but seen I've some promotion of it. of it on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of caught mean, wind that they were really like going forward with it, and they're all happy, and they ready to rock and make it happen this year. And um, just big event, big exposure. Just April didn't know. 25th. April 20th. I mean, it would be the Fish Creek PTA that okay. organizes that. Um, I'm not sure who that exec board is this year in terms of the people, but it's always the Fish Creek PTA that organizes that. I'll take that task. Awesome. Ooh. Could you reach out, please, and see Absolutely. Um, how we can provide whatever they need to make it as inclusive yeah, as possible? Right. And then if we, I don't know if you want to have a booth there and do something interactive or not. I'll, or I'll start with just kind of finding out, poke around a little bit and see. Awesome. Sounds good. That'll be great. Yeah. Um, the only thing is the next meeting is only a few days before that, correct? I'll, I'll get a communication out before the meeting and see. Oh God, if we two, can days days after. two days after. Two days after, yeah. So if you um, maybe just let everyone know in an email how we can help and we'll get something together rather quickly. And that's. Just to see, it's such a huge public event. Mm -hmm. Great idea. And I encourage if anyone else thinks of another event, absolutely, let's go for it and see how we can help. We just, we're just gonna have to start reaching out to everybody. <laughs> we're here, what can we do? Right. Well, I think you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I, if anyone has anything else, um, I think that's it. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll be in touch with everybody. All right, enjoy all the night. Right. It's great to see you all. You too. Bye bye. bye. Trace, I'll run up next today or, or tomorrow or Thursday. That's very nice of you. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. All right, bye bye.